on governmentality. Michel Foucault, a prominent French philosopher and social theorist, introduced the concept of governmentality as a framework for understanding the mechanisms and techniques through which power operates in modern societies. Foucault's exploration of governmentality sheds light on how institutions, discourses and practices shape individuals and populations, fostering compliance, regulation and normalization. Foucault's interest in power relations led him to analyze the ways in which power is exercised not only through overt forms of coercion, but also through subtler modes of governance. Governmentality, as he articulated it, refers to the rationalities, techniques, and discourses through which individuals are governed in modern societies. Rather than focusing solely on the state as the locus of power, Foucault examines the dispersed and decentralized nature of power, encompassing various institutions, practices, and discourses that regulate behavior and shape subjectivities. Central to Foucault's concept of governmentality is the idea of biopower, which denotes the ways in which power operates on and through the bodies and lives of individuals. Biopower involves not only the regulation of individual bodies, but also the management of populations, with a focus on maximizing productivity, health, and overall well being. Foucault distinguishes between two forms of biopower sovereign power, which operates through the threat of death and punishment, and disciplinary power, which functions through mechanisms of surveillance, normalization, and control. Foucault traces the emergence of modern forms of governmentality to the rise of disciplinary societies in the 18th and 19th centuries, characterized by the proliferation of institutions such as prisons, schools, hospitals, and factories. These institutions, Foucault argues, serve as sites of surveillance and discipline, regulating the behavior and subjectivities of individuals through techniques such as panopticism, normalization, and examination. The panopticon, a model of surveillance and control developed by philosopher Jeremy Bentham, exemplifies the disciplinary logic of modern societies, where individuals internalize the gaze of authority and regulate their behavior accordingly. Moreover, Foucault examines the role of discourse in shaping governmentality, highlighting the ways in which knowledge and power are intertwined in the production of truth regimes. Discourses, he argues, not only reflect existing power relations, but also actively contribute to their maintenance and reproduction. Through techniques such as classification, categorization, and expert knowledge, discourses establish norms, categories, and hierarchies that govern behavior and shape subjectivities. Foucault's analysis of governmentality thus emphasizes the role of knowledge in the exercise of power, underscoring the importance of understanding the discursive formations that underpin societal control. Furthermore, Foucault explores the relationship between governmentality and liberalism, challenging conventional understandings of liberty and individual autonomy. While liberalism champions the ideals of freedom and self-governance, Foucault argues that these ideals are intricately bound up with mechanisms of discipline and control. In the liberal paradigm, individuals are governed not only through coercion, but also through techniques of normalization and self-regulation, whereby they internalize the norms and values of the dominant order. Thus, Foucault contends that liberalism operates not as a retreat of power, but rather as a transformation of power, wherein individuals are governed through the cultivation of certain subjectivities and behaviors. Moreover, Foucault's analysis of governmentality extends beyond the realm of the state to encompass a wide array of social institutions and practices. He examines how various domains of knowledge and expertise, such as medicine, psychology, and criminology, contribute to the governance of populations by defining what is considered normal, deviant, or pathological. 
through processes of medicalization, psychologization, and criminalization, individuals are subjected to forms of surveillance, intervention, and regulation that shape their identities and experiences. Furthermore, Foucault explores the role of neoliberalism in reshaping governmentality in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. Neoliberalism, he argues, represents a shift towards market-based forms of governance, where individuals are conceived as rational, self-interested actors, and society is organized according to principles of competition, efficiency, and deregulation. Under neoliberal governmentality, the state retreats from direct intervention in social and economic affairs, instead fostering conditions for the self-regulation of individuals and the marketization of everyday life. However, Foucault's analysis of neoliberalism also highlights its darker dimensions, including the intensification of surveillance, the erosion of social welfare provisions, and the expansion of punitive emissions against marginalized populations. Neoliberal governmentality, he suggests, operates through a combination of disciplinary techniques and market mechanisms, fostering a culture of individual responsibility and entrepreneurial self-fashioning, while simultaneously reinforcing inequalities and injustices. In conclusion, Michel Foucault's concept of governmentality provides a rich and nuanced framework for understanding the complexities of power, knowledge, and control in modern societies. By examining the ways in which power operates through institutions, discourses, and practices, Foucault reveals the intricate mechanisms through which individuals and populations are governed and regulated. From the rise of disciplinary societies to the emergence of neoliberal forms of governance, Foucault's analysis underscores the enduring relevance of governmentality as a lens for critically interrogating the dynamics of power and resistance in contemporary society.